following podcast is being brought to you by the Defy Life Podcast Network. Maybe we can still heal you. Why? So you can just lock me up? No. Nah. Just bury me in the ocean with my ancestors that jumped from the ships. Because they knew death was better than bondage. Oh, you think darkness is your ally? You merely adopted the dark. I was born in it, molded by it. I didn't see the light until I was already a man. By then, it was nothing to me but blind. <laughs> the shadows betray you because they belong to me. In the hell do you think you are? Okay, it's not working out. I'm gonna need the suit back. For how long? Forever. Yeah. Yeah, let's No, 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 please, please, please. Let's just, have it. You don't understand. This, this is all I have. I'm nothing without this suit. If you're nothing without this suit, then you shouldn't have it, okay? So, Oz, um, welcome back, first of all. And, um, you know, today's episode is just going to be pretty much what I like to call a, uh, a roundup. You know, we're going to... We're going to cover some topics. Um, we're going to go over a lot of news bits that have happened since you've been gone. You missed the week. A lot's happened in, the, in that week. So it's almost like you've been gone two weeks. We've got a lot of news ground to cover. Um, are you ready to you know, go over all this ground that we have to cover? Oh, man. I, 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 I had to take a, a, a much uh, unanticipated but um, needed break. Um, I had to delve... Uh, into the the deepest uh, regions of apocalypse, you know, I, I I found myself holding the infinity gauntlet and not knowing what to do with it. So, but I'm glad to be back, and I'm and I am ready to roar. Well, can I just say you're already off to a bad start. You didn't even you didn't even welcome the people like you normally do. Where where is my what's up, good people? Uh, no, will you, will you, hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. You asked me a question, <laughs> so I answered your question now. I'll get to the what's up, good people. <laughs> one, right. one, one step at a time, man. Because okay. because by the way, me and V's, we we still got um we still got some stuff we got to discuss with you about. Okay, all right. Um, and then uh, V's uh, again. W- well, I would say welcome back, but this isn't your first time missing the show, so um, <laughs> it's it's a pleasure to have you back on the show this week. Um, again, same question to you. We got a lot of ground to cover this episode. Are you ready to cover this ground? I'm ready to cover the ground. It's almost like I'm a guest (laughs) co-host. Yeah, Yeah, that's a, that's a good way of putting it. (laughs) It is kind of like that. Like you have a, you have a reoccurring role on the show, you know, you, you are, you, you bees are that reoccurring character that. That that the audience loves and has said, yo man, we need to just like you know we need to keep this guy going, you know. Well, first, I didn't know if I would be able to do this show. I got so much stuff going on outside of the uh, of our, our podcast. It's taking a lot of time away from me. I understand. Hey, I'm just saying for one for myself. I'm glad to have you here. But yes, I'm ready to cover those news topics. Um, I only saw one movie so far, and that was. Aquaman. I haven't seen Captain Marvel. I haven't seen, you know, the new Avengers or anything like that. So <clears throat> I guess I'll wait for them to come on the, uh, on direct TV now on the, you know, where I can order it off the pay per view. Well, well, I'll say it's never too late, but I would love to get your opinion and what your thoughts were on Aquaman. Well, the thing about it is, you know, I got, I'm a, fa- I'm a family of four and, uh, you know, it's expensive to take all four of us to the movies, and there's no chance I can go see either one of those movies without the family. So yeah, that turns it into a seventy-five dollar, eighty dollar day easy. I, I'll just say this: 
uh, it's worth it for in game. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm sure it is, but you know. Well, let's uh, let's start the conversation off. Since all we're going to be doing is recapping, and uh, I got a lot of news topics. We're going to play. Uh, of course, we're always going to play. One's got to go. Um, and I got yeah, a little yeah, twist yeah. on that this time. And hopefully uh, Oz has one for us. He was supposed to do some homework, so we'll see if he uh, if he took that week off and did his homework or not. Oh, oh boy. Here we go. <laughs> I'm just saying. Um, but let's start with Game of Thrones. Um, you know, before we, before we get to the recap, uh, you guys weren't on the show last week, so I didn't get a chance to ask you. Uh, Vs, let me start with you. You're a big TV guy, so I'm going to get your opinion first. Let's talk about the Starbucks Cup. Uh, you know, it, it was made a, a really, really big deal about it. And I guess it does show like, you know, kind of un like, how do you not catch that? But again, it, it's human error. You know, everyone makes a big deal. But I guarantee you that, I mean, human error happens. We're all sport. Well, me and you, Scott, we're, we're, uh, we're, we're sports fans and human error happens in that and and what? Who are we to expect human error not to happen in uh, on on TV series like that? I'm, I'm sure if we dove into Breaking Bad, we'll find something out of place. You know, yeah. Okay. So that, that that's, that's my thought on it. All right, um, Oz, what you got? Um, hey man, listen, that's my business, dude. And yeah, that's that's right up your alley. That's it that's is right up my do. alley, and that's happened before. But I will say this though, um, it turns into some things. I always see the other side of all things, which hey, is probably hey, Oz, not Oz, a super. Yeah. I don't mean to cut you off, but just tell give the people a little, tell little people uh, again about what you do. Um, not to give away too much, but um, I uh, I work in the TV and film business, and I uh, I do I do all sorts of production from video to print. So, uh, and I, and just my past history is I've worked on movies, commercials, uh, straight to straight to video, you know, little, 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 little in front of the camera, a little behind the camera. So what, what I'm coming from, I'm coming from a perspective that's deep in this. Okay. You in the just game. Some, yeah. I'm in, I'm up in this dude. I'm not, I'm not just some person just kind of like, you know, jabber jabber, you know, my personal opinion, which is fine too, but here it goes. That stuff happens, but there are so many filters out there that catch stuff. There are so many gatekeepers, dude. Um, like if a cup is left and they do more than one take, you know, they'll be like, yo, everything's cool. You have a script supervisor who does nothing but follows continuity to make sure that kind of stuff happens. So I'm going to say this, I'm going to throw this out there. All that controversy that came, it was on The Root, it was on Daily Beast, it was on Fox News, CNN, NSNBC, um, um, Telemundo, um, Skynet, you know, The Moon broadcasted. That gave HBO and Game of Thrones a bunch of hits and a bunch of rewatches for that. So you go ahead, and it also gave a little brand recognition to Starbucks. Y'all go ahead and be like, that's the accident, I'm going to tell you. That was product placement at its best. And by the way, they went back and re-edited that scene, that Starbucks cup, out of there. Yes, that's very true. I I, I tend I tend to agree so, with so, these. So, so that was a, that was that was really a genius move. Starbucks probably paid HBO one point five billion dollars to have that cup. Dude, oh man, that's, the, that's, the, that's the, the last the last three or two episodes of the most watched HBO show, probably besides the Sopranos, or everybody knows what a genius marketing move, man. Give me a break, man. And they re and, and once again they took it out. So when you buy the box set, you ain't gonna have that Starbucks thing in there. But it it sparked so much controversy, dude. Chad chitter chatter around the water cooler. All come on, man. You ain't gonna tell me that was that that was an accident. If that was an accident, that that was a yo. Okay. I I, I don't I don't think it was an accident. I just think that's kind of how season eight's been going for him. 
it's been oh. a it's been a it's been a rush season and i feel like that was just that was a rush scene like that's one of the most important scenes when you look back at it in the entire season and you have a starbucks cup right there like right in the, well, right in, right in so the front center regular scott well that's the i want i want point. To, he said there's so many please, different filters him. and things that to catch it that's to oz's point a, a scene that important that big Oh yeah, that's product placement at its best. I mean, get, get him these. No, but get I, I get that. But I don't think I don't think Game of Thrones, with the way people have been reacting and talking about the season so far, I don't think that's something that they could really afford to do. Okay, well let me let me throw something out there for you. And if I need to take a shower or whatever, go ahead because this might be a little long winded. Here it goes. Check this out. <laughs> you just said. The most important scene, that Starbucks cup is in there. And one you, of, said, one yeah, you, you say, hey, 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 that's just the way the whole season has been going. That season has been rushed. It's been booty. That is more incentive for them to be like, oh, we don't give a fuck. You know, we well, gonna, I, I don't, gonna, I don't gonna, think it's been bad. We're going to make some money off this. And, and let me also reinforce this to you. Um, oh, my God. With, R. 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 with George R. R. Martin, he hasn't even finished his book yet. But the four, but the showrunners have finished this season and have have given us the Iron Throne. I got That's some crazy news Look, coming I, up. I'm by not, the way, can, let me jump in here. I'm not sure. Everyone's talking about how the 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 the, the, the season is this and the season. I don't think this season has been that terrible. I mean, in the whole grand grand scheme of things, this is not the worst season ever. We've had a lot of ex- yep. excitement. We had a lot of action. We we've. Granted, we haven't had a lot of character build up, but this is the last season. Why do we need some character build up? Why, why, you know, why do we need to uh, to extend why Daenerys is going crazy or nothing? We know why she's going crazy. Her dad was the Mad King, like you know, it's in her DNA, and, and she's a Targaryen. So, and yo, and, you know, and people are also salty because Cersei ain't meet the end that they wanted her. People, people are salty because. People aren't dying the way that they wanted them to die, which yeah, is great. Right. Which is we great for your fan loyalty. That got killed by the giant, but then we have Cersei that gets a building crushed on her. I know, you know. So it's like people are all salty about that. So I'm just saying, man. Yo, that is a marketing ploy, dude. And and, and I will help you out once again because do you remember? I'm dating myself, but you know it's okay. I'm old. So there was um two men and a baby. That Ted Danson film, which was a stellar hit. Please, it was not stellar. It was not a hit. They put that the video, and they were like, oh, did you not see the little boy ghost in there? They planted a little boy in that one scene just just because they knew that movie was going to be a flop. But it would make a lot of video sales, and boy, did it sell a lot of videos. And later on, they took the kid out, dude. It was a plant, dude. I'm telling you, that thing was a plant. And by the way, if it wasn't a plant, I did not see or read in Billboard or Showbiz Magazine where they fired the script supervisor and went, and one of the producers for not noticing that. Okay. Um, so, uh, I mean, I, I I don't agree, but I don't want to. I don't spend too much time on that. That was three weeks ago. Um, so let's, let's, before we get too deep into Game of Thrones and the rest of our news, allow me to set the table. This is Take a Knee for Marvel vs. DC. I am your host, Regular Scott, where we talk about just about any and everything Marvel and DC and a little bit of all the other things in between. I am here with my two co-hosts. We got the Comic Connoisseur, the mighty Ozzy Killmonger. Ozzy, what's going on? What is up, good people? How are you? And then we got V's on the other side. V's, what's going on? Not much. What's going on, good people? And you can follow us on Twitter at Need for Marvel vs. DC. Email us at Need for Marvel vs. DC at Go Defy Life. And you can also um, subscribe, like, give us five star reviews on iTunes, Spreaker, Radio Public, TuneIn Radio, Spotify, all those, all any and everywhere you listen to your podcast will be there subscribe give us a shot give us a listen hopefully you like what you uh, what you hear hey yo let me bring something else up dude how how you gonna sit here and tell all of our listeners that that was three weeks ago and you don't really care when you brought it up no i said i don't want to argue about it 
Oh, okay, because you're wrong. Got it. Okay, that's cool. Well, no, I mean, I, I just I, <laughs> we t- we talked about it all last week, so you know, you're a show behind. That's what happens when you miss a show. See, we ain't talking about it. Me and V didn't get a chance to chat about this dude with you no, to converse. Yeah, but you, I, you I, I can't. Hey, look, you and your hey, new look, friends. You, were, you and you your were, new friends talked about it. You were a show behind. I got nothing to do with that. No, no, you and your new friends talked about it, but you, you know, your old tried and trues, we didn't get a chance to talk about it, man. Hey, uh, so Oz, do you, uh, do you have a rebuttal about your commercial, by the way? Oh, I, I heard what they had to say, but you know what? Guess what, man? Hey, um, how about this? I did that, like HBO and the Starbucks Cup, to start controversy and to get them to do a better commercial for us. Okay. I hear you. Sounds good. It sounds good. I did save one topic for it for the, for just you two because I knew I know okay. it's you guys' favorite topic. Arrow had its season finale uh, this this week. Season or series? Series is next week. I think that's going to be a Crisis on Infinite Earths mini series. Oh God, I hope. I, I, I think their crossovers have been pretty good. I I have a lot of faith in this mini mini crossover that's coming out. Okay. Elsewhere, Elsewhere was pretty good. It was good. It was okay. A little, little twist and turn and stuff, but it's good. So I, I, I'm looking forward to it. The Batwoman trailer uh, dropped for the CW. Since so Arrow's leaving, it's perfect time to debut Batwoman. There's your down to earth, grittier. Yeah, character. people keep saying. People keep saying that she's got it. The storylines have got to do her justice, dude. Because Ruby Rose is great. She's incredible. I it's love. True. I love her. Like me personally. These, you know, who Ruby Roses. No, nah, dude, I don't, I, don't know, I don't know anything you guys talking about. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Now the show's starting to feel back to normal. Oz, Oz went on a rant. V's don't know an actor. We're back, baby. <laughs> We're back. All right. Let's keep it popping, dude. I, I, I know you got a lot to talk about, and I got a lot to say. All right, so we got a lot, a lot, a lot of news um, topics. So uh, before we finish up, uh, before we really dive into the news, I want to finish up our Game of Thrones talk. Um, okay. Uh, one thing V said, he's, he said he doesn't think this season has been that bad. Um, V's, I know you gave season one uh, a nine out of ten when we did our rankings. And – this season has been much faster, I think, than season mm-hmm. one. So, what would you rank this season so far, out of ten? Uh, I probably would still give it a nine so far. Out of you know, there's like there's a couple of things I thought they could have done better, but you know, all what it went in the grand scheme of things. I mean, it, it, you you're going to be hard pressed to find a better eight ep- or six episodes of anything the rest of this year, maybe next year too. You're going to be hard pressed to find anything better. So, you know, the critics can say what they want and complain about this and complain about the writers doing this, but you're going to be hard pressed to find anything better. So. Oz. Um, I think the Watchmen HBO series is going to be pretty damn good. I agree with when you. It comes, That's when, it comes to ga- when it comes to Game of Thrones, I'm sorry, bees. I'm pissed, man. Because let me tell you something. This is my little. I have never been in war, and I never been in war with dragons. And I never went to been in war with dragons in the sea. You gonna tell me this girl Daria, whatever, is going to say I'm going to go off to go fight um, um, the bad guys, whoever, or just King's Landing? And she didn't have spies. They didn't have a dance troop to know that you're on was waiting to ambush them and how could they have ambushed these two dragons who are flying high up in the air dude that was crazy to me it was it, it, that, that see i get when everybody's saying that it was rushed and stuff because that made no sense and the only reason i can think they've been making any sense is they couldn't have two dragons just going crazy because it wouldn't have been any sort of next to the last episode then That's my rant. V's, you got a rebuttal? No, I don't. I just, um, I'm going to let them have it. I, I, you know, we can agree to disagree. Okay. Um, 
I, I there there are a lot of storylines that have been built up that didn't didn't come to fruition and that are mm-hmm. just kind of being dropped. You know, like Arya's storyline, which they just mentioned this season with the blue eyes and the green eyes. So well, we don't know if her, we don't know if her story's finished though. But who? But who's the green there. eyes though? The green eyes was always Cersei. You know, as far as her her what prophecy. Color eyes are, what color? What color eyes are old girls? Or, or, or Darius' eyes? Aren't yeah. they blue? I don't know well, about that, blue. dude. Maybe. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure they're blue. Uh, I mean, what, honestly, what, I, what color I, eyes does Jon Snow have? You think Arya? Oh, you think Arya would kill Jon Snow? Not, no, they're not, his eyes are definitely not green. They're, you know. Oh, here, he, let me, let me, here, I'll, let me, I'll fuck with both you guys. What color eyes does Sansa have? Arya's Sansa not going to kill Sansa. Not. She'll kill Jon before she kills Sansa. I don't. Mm. Well, well, see, my oh, thing. I don't know. Her oh, and Jon's oh. been awfully close, but. So you, you know what I heard about the last episode? I'm mean, this is literally the last episode. Did you, have y'all heard who the who the horse was? I read something about it, like, but it, I didn't hear it. Was I, I, it somewhere. I read and heard that the horse was Bron. Like he took possession of the horse to go and save our um, Arya. Our, yeah, Arya. What, what is what's the connection between Braun and Arya though? Well, remember he, the, he's the brother. No, he's talking. About, it, he said he meant Bran. Bran, oh. sorry, Bran, Bran, Bran. Oh. Yeah, um, Bran. Um, that he uh, what, what waved or warped or whatever um, to find her and help her. Well, anyway, it's their eyes aren't green, so the, Arya's prophecy is pretty much null and void. So now that that's one. What you, what you think? You don't. We're not one hundred percent sure, but what, but it's I'm, looking that way. I'm, I just I'm looking it up now. Danny has blue eyes. Okay, but 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 she said that you you killed all sorts of eyes, and the last eye she said with blue was meant for her to kill the um, Night King. But that wasn't the last set of eyes, though. That wasn't the last color in the prophecy. It's it goes brown, oh, blue, oh, green. Her prophecy didn't obviously. Well, well, let's look at it like this. Her prophecy got changed because of Daenerys's actions. She never made it. She didn't even make it to. She was on her way to kill the Green Eyes, but she didn't make it. Remember uh, right. the Hound? Yeah. The and hound who, care, and who cares if prophecies don't come true? That doesn't mean that her story. She can do whatever she wants. That means she's free. I'm not. I'm not really. Con- I'm not. Specifically talking about the prophecy, I'm more so talking about the storyline. Like I, I'm not a I'm, yeah, her storyline. Her storyline was met to me because she went to kill Cersei, and that's when they had that powerful conversation. Of her and the Hound, yes, that made her have a different outlook. Because I, you know, and she and she said thank you. Old Arya would have kept you. going. Yeah, old Arya would have kept going, but she obviously the Hound has some kind of breakthrough with her. There's some kind of love there, and and, uh, and that was. Uh, and, and, she said thank you, and that was her way of of, of 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 breaking that whatever. And she knew that she didn't want to live that life of revenge. That's why she's helping that mother and daughter the whole time. I, so I don't feel like her storyline changed. I mean, I, I don't feel like the storyline broke. I feel like she fulfilled what was meant for her to do. To do. Uh, I still think she's going to have a. I still think it's going to be. She's going to do something else in this last uh, episode. Oh yeah. I, her, her, and John both. I mean, I, I really do. And uh, and songs. I think they're well. There's the a record, three of them, dude. The three of them are going to come up with something special. Oh, oh, and 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 um and um, Bron, Bren, Bren, whatever his name is, <laughs> the the three eyed raven. John will probably just end up killing Danny. It'll probably be something predictable like that. I don't know. I, that's what I. I think it's. I think. I mean, they. It's going to be something predictable. Maybe Danny doesn't die at all. Maybe Danny kills all of them. Maybe Danny kills John. Danny kills dude. What? What? Danny what, kills why aren't all you of thinking, them. And she sits on the throne. Why don't you guys? But why aren't you guys thinking that, like Jamie being a king slayer, why can't Tyrion be a king slayer? I think Tyrion's going to meet his. I think Tyrion's dead next episode. Tyrion may end up sitting on the Iron Throne. He may be the. I, I, I feel like he's gonna kill Danny, dude. 
Yeah, I think John's going to do it. John will do it and end up going up north with Tormund and Ghost. That'll be the end of his story. No, well, okay. Well, uh, or I mean, you still got to do something with Grey Worm, dude. With Grey Worm, the thing about this, is yeah, Grey Worm's the, Grey, Worm, have... Grey Worm's still alive. Oh, John will kill Grey Worm. Mm, I don't know, dude. That seems too easy. You know. I mean, that's 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 what I think. I think John's going to be the one to kill Danny. I mean, they have to fulfill one prophecy. I mean, they didn't. They didn't fulfill Cersei's. Right. So why can't? Why do we always forget about um, Tyrion? Right. But his prophecy was was to to Cersei's prophecy was that her young her her smaller her younger brother she would die in his arms, like with his like pretty much her last breath coming out of his hands. So they always the prophecy was always interpreted as Tyrion would kill Cersei. Well, you, well, well you, but hold on. I'm sorry? The, when did you get that? Because I missed that part. Oh, that's back in like season three, season four, but, when she's a child and she goes and meets that Jamie, witch and they talk about how all her kids oh, are going to yeah, 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 I remember, okay. Jamie is the younger of the two, though. But but he didn't kill her. His la- But her last breath was in his arms. But he didn't take her last breath. Um, I, I, it, the I prophecy think, pretty much said that she was going to die by by her own younger brother's hand. And which, which, if you want to be for real, for real, prophecies are very loose interpretations, which means could die in her brother's arms. It could, but that's that's what I'm saying about. And so, and so, but here's a, here's a, here's the other thing that people always forgot about all this stuff with this with GOT is this: Tyrion is who. Who is he part of? He's a Lannister. He, who else is he part of, that, by the way? That's not proven. It is proven. When, Man, when, when, when was that when proven? His, I'll tell you when. When his father said, he, when his father spoke these, these two separate things, you are no son of mine, but you are a Lannister. That doesn't prove he's a Targaryen. Oh, and, and he went up to the dragon. The dragon didn't do crap to him. I still don't think that makes him a Targaryen. I, if you go back and I'm telling you, that's the hook, line, and sinker part we forget about. I don't, I don't know about that. Yeah, right. See, because it makes too much sense. I get you. No, because it, it, there's, there's, there is absolutely... There's no factual evidence to prove he's a Targaryen. There's no, there's been no mention of him being a Targaryen. Except With one for, episode left, they have not said anything about him being a Targaryen. It's cool. It's cool. Okay. They let's, spent let's, an entire let's. season talking about John Ka- being a Ka- Targaryen. Hey, I understand. I overstand. Let's see what happens this Sunday. Sounds like a pay per view. I'll see you in the ring this Sunday. And when I put my intercontinental title on the line, I'm going to hey, give hey, everything hey. I've got. Blood, sweat, tears, and I'm not leaving unless you leave in a body bag first. What? <laughs> um, all jokes aside, Ric Flair is in the hospital, dude. That was like two days ago, bro. Yeah, I, I just saw that happen coming down my wire today. Oh. Okay. Prayers out for Ric Flair. Yeah, man. Woo! For real, for real. Nature right. boy, dude. Well, I don't, I don't get that. But that's cool. I mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna be a, a evil person. But <laughs> prayers out, to, prayers out to, to a dude that's done all kind of shit to his body to put himself in that predicament. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, definitely. Prayers out to Ric Flair. I don't wish bad upon anybody. And anytime somebody is no, going through I, something I mean, I, bad, I, I, I wish him well. No, I, I don't. But I, I don't. I don't sympathize with him either. I mean, I don't want him to die. But I'm not going to sit here and be like, oh, you know, how everybody gets all up in arms for for what he did it to himself. You feel that way about football players too? I feel and that bo- way about and, and boxers. I feel like, yeah, yeah. I have a I have a weird way of thinking, and I I'm sorry. It, family members too, like. You know, I got people that are dumb close to me that make really dumb decisions, and I don't, you know, 
I wish them well, but I don't, I'm not going to. Nah. For what? You grown. You made those decisions. That is not the thoughts of Take That is V's opinion alone. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I wish I wish that man well, man. I hope you get the, better, the, regardless of why you the got mighty, there. Uh, the mighty Oz wants to say, "I wish I Ric Flair well." Said that was my opinion. <laughs> I, 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 I wish Ric Flair and his family no misery. Yeah, I wish them man. well. I, I don't want nobody to have to go through that. That's tough. Because, no. because, and that's where we disagree. Because. He he's going through it because he put himself in that situation. Yeah, but just because he put himself in that situation, that doesn't mean his family deserves to go through that. Like I'm still, you still feel he's for his family his, and he, stuff. Like regardless, okay, he can feel for his family, but he put his family in that situation. Yeah, but that's but that's not on that's not on us. But we can still feel for his family. Like I mean, like bro, no, I'm not telling you how to feel. I'm saying I I, I feel bad for his family too, but I'm not going to. I'm. Me personally, I'm not going to like sympathize with him or anyone who does stuff to harm themselves or put themselves in that situation. Like you did it to yourself. That's just my opinion, though. We can move on from that. Last thing I'm going to say. So anybody who's drank and has a liver failure, which drinking attributes to, is that on them? So you're saying like one drink and they have a little effect? No, I'm saying like, you know, they drank in their 20s and then they, they grew up. Like we all have done. They We've all grown up. They drank in their 20s and then they have liver failure. Yeah, that's on them. They did it to themselves. Okay. I mean, that's just my opinion. I have a, my, my dad is an alcoholic. If he dies, I'm not going to sympathize with him from alcohol poison because he did it to himself. Like, I'm going to be sad that he's gone, but he... You did it to yourself. Well, you but, the, but that's not necessarily, that's not necessarily right though. Alcohol, alcoholism isn't as easy as saying I'm gonna turn off a switch and I'm gonna stop drinking. Yeah, that's oh, no. Nah, he's yeah. had plenty, he's an had addiction. Plenty of help to get. Him. Oh, I know, but but that but that's the point. These I, I don't know your situation, but you know the point is that alcoholism has been proven over and over again. It's not a mental thing. It is a addiction drug thing, which is a. Which which means that it, it's a chemical body thing. Like your body has a reaction to it. There are some people that can have a drink and be cool, and there's some people who can have a drink and be hooked. And I'm gonna tell you like this: my years of being of doing social work back in the day, working you know in Alaska, I've seen the effects of alcohol, and I've seen what one beer would do to a person who hasn't had a chance to assimilate in their body. Now I get it, I get it, I get it. You know, like he may have been like loving it. But just like that addiction part, dude, it's a hard thing to kick, man. You know. All right. Well, I mean, that's cool. You guys aren't going to change my opinion on it. I still have I, I, my I get you. my strong opinions on that. So we can move on. Like I said, ten minutes ago. Well, we just we wanted to make sure that the audience had both sides of the argument. Yeah. Oh, we, yeah. Did, we didn't, we didn't want to leave it with one sided oh, argument. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You definitely stated that those were the opinions of V's and not taking it. You said that. I like know, but I wanted, minutes. but I wanted Oz to give his opinion as well. He didn't. He didn't get a chance to give his opinion about it. So I just wanted him to give his too. It's all. It's all opinion. Yeah, it's, it's all, all just it's opinionated. All you gave yours. You I know? gave mine. I let Oz give his. That's all. All right. Yeah, there was a little bit more to that, but let's move on, please, before I, uh, you know, how I do. <laughs> Yeah, we just got you back on the show. We don't want you to, to quit the show again. We just got you back on. All right, we got some news to get into. We got a whole lot of news. A lot has happened. I'm going to go with the big news that just dropped today, actually tonight. Um, it's <sighs> So one of our biggest fears on this show, we've talked about it multiple times, has been the potential for Batman to have sex with Batgirl in a live action, uh, no, in a live action role, Robert Pattinson has been cast as Bruce Wayne. Oh, yeah, Robert. For, Patt- uh, for, he must be a young. He must be a super young Bruce Wayne then. I I don't know, but I know Robert Pattinson is now Bruce Wayne. Good. Then maybe uh, one one emotion, um, Kristen Stewart can be uh, Catwoman. Is is that is that what we want? Yeah, because because that would guarantee that movie's going to suck ass, dude. Do we want the movie to suck? Yeah, because you know what? I'm sorry, man. 
they, they need to chill. Don't make any more Batman movies. Just stop. Stop. Just stop. Just stop. If you feel bored, um, go out, do yourself right, and make a Green Arrow movie. Go out, do yourself right, go make a um, Supergirl movie. Do something. Flip yourself, dude. Actually, fuck that. Don't even do that. Do Power Girl. You know what? Do a do a just hit here's don't do Batman, do um Earth X, which is when the Nazis take over and the justice um and what the freedom fighters have to try and win that back. Do a movie about that. People don't need to see Batman anymore. There's nothing to be seen. All right. Let me uh, I I, I might the only thing that the only thing you need to see from Batman is an old ass Batman and and, and what happened. I might have, I might have jumped the gun and get one reporter. The Hollywood Reporter is now reporting that Robert Pattinson is the front runner to play Batman in the Matt. Oh, Reeves see, you causing movie. drama, dude. All right, all right. Hollywood Reporter is causing drama. Yeah, but still, I just just don't make another Batman movie. You don't need to. I don't know if I agree with that. The only time, the only thing you need to see from Batman is if he's in a Justice League movie, a good one. Well. I think you can have a Batman movie. You just need to introduce the rest of the Bat family. You, I think you need to do an old Batman, and you know I, it's uh, so disappointing. Yo, but your boy, um, Sir, um, was it Sir Joe, Sir John, or whatever? So, whatever, he's going to play Batman and um, Teen Titan, uh, the new uh, Titans. Yeah, we talked about that. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, I'm excited. That's one. That's one Batman I'm excited to see. Um, sticking with the Titans theme, uh, Aqualad and Aqua Girl are rumored to appear in Titans season two. They bring it out all of them, dude. What's what's so mid season? They're going to do West Coast Titans too. <laughs> bring 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 out um, bring out Bumble. Um, was it Bumblebee and? Um, well, they got the Cyborg ready. So, Whew. jeez. That's a lot, right? They're going deep, dude. Seriously. Um, Bugle Boy, whatever his name was. Oh, <laughs> um, oh so then they got to introduce um, Speedy, don't they? Um, I mean, they don't have to, but they might. If they if they bust out Aqualad and Aqua Girl, dude, come on, dude. I mean, we're getting we're getting the Judas contract, so. Oof. I mean, we're, we're, right. we're already getting we're getting Deathstroke and Ravenger, so. I wonder if they're going to bring out um, Jericho. Jericho will be there. Wow, dude! I'm, I'm like I said, I'll, and I'll, and every podcast I'll be saying, please make sure you watch Titans. Nothing new. Um, so oh, I have some news. Okay. Very soon, Young Justice pops off again next season. What's very soon? Um, very soon being, if I can get my research together and correct. Um, very soon. Give me one second, sir. Uh, oh, yeah, here we go. If only there was a device where I could find that word when the Young Justice is about to pop off, son. So you don't even know if it's very soon. Oh, it is totally very soon. It is going to be... Yeah, I heard you, man. Uh, you got something in your throat, dude? No, nah, I don't. But this is what happens when we come unprepared to the show. Um, no, you know, I'm prepared, man. You you weren't going to even mention it. You, we got to give these people their props, dude. You still haven't found it, so. I'm still searching for it. At least, man, I haven't given up, okay? Great. You, um, you, you, you've given up. You've, you've, getting, you've, come, you've become soft, Scott. Regular Scott, you've become soft. What does that have to do with, with Young Justice, though? I'm just trying to stall for time, man. Just saying. So you have absolutely no idea when it comes out? It's coming out very, very soon. Like, right, literally. We're, we're, um, no, we're, we're moving on. Nah, man. Hold on. Wait, 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 because you don't know that. when it's coming. What do you mean? <laughs> like, I, I don't know how much more time you need to be stalled for. Um... I think it's coming within the next uh, month or so. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I look, dude. I just saw. 
what I, the second what I part is coming out in June June twenty fourth. I just said very soon. And why are you trying to play people all the time? Dude? I had the date in front of me the whole time. I wish. I know. I know. The, uh, why do you try to play people exactly is what I said. I'm just saying. You bored? You bored, dude? No, I'm you, not. This, you get your, you get your jollies this way, dude. Uh, Richard Madden, Rob Stark from Game of Thrones, is cast as Icarus in the Eternals. Um. Yeah, dude. I don't know how I feel about that. Chadwick Bossman signs on to play Japan's first African samurai, Yus- Yasuke. Oh yeah, that's cool. Is Chad is Chadwick Bossman about to become? Well, he already is kind of the biopic go to guy. Um, why would you say that? What other? What else has he done? Forty two, Jackie Robinson. Oh yeah, he has done. Yeah, Black no. Panther. Uh, Black Panther is not a biopic. <laughs> It is a biopic in the Marvel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Uh, a biographical picture? No, it's not. Yeah, but yeah, but I, I get it, what you're saying, though. Well, it is, but it, it but it, it's not. But it is. It's an origin story. Okay. Yeah. It's, maybe it's a fictional pick. Yeah, but it's okay. You know. Uh, He's hot, dude, and let that dude make his money. Well, that was all before he was hot. So, hey, did you hear the rumors what Black Panther two might be about? The White Panther? No, um, I heard that they might, which is probably a terrible far off rumor that they, because uh, they mentioned in end games that the Black Panther two might introduce um, Namor. Where'd you hear this at? Because I heard, I heard that that was shot down by the producers. I know, I heard that, I heard too. But there, there was a lot of chatter. There's a lot of chatter. Wait, so um, the White Wolf? You mean um, putting Homeboy back in? In Wakanda? Yeah. No, nah, I was thinking about having a bad guy come in and be the White Wolf. No, dude. Why? Why not? Uh, and have it be a black guy. Yeah, I do. He's already fought um, one black, one bad black guy. He needs to chill with that. So he needs to know? fight a black, a bad white guy. Yeah, dude. He, he, he did fight a bad. bad white, he did fight a bad white guy. That guy was a chunk. So you just you 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 want him to fight white people? You don't no, want him dude, to fight I want, any black. I want people. him to fight Namor, dude. I want him to fight someone who is super powered. What if they use the next Black Panther? They introduce Storm, and that's the first X Men we get. Um, that would be dope. They were, they're not smart enough to do that though. They might be. Um, cause like what they should do, cause like actually they, what they really need to explore, like apparently I've been reading a bunch of old comics and like Black Panther and Black Bolt, um, are like super tight friends, man. Is this from their time as the crew? Well, you know, um, there's been several times where if you go to age of, uh, Age of Mag- um, House of M, when uh, Magneto tried to um, bring in, I think, Sabretooth for someone to kill uh, Black Panther because he wouldn't give up Wakanda. Um, or or, or he, I think he even tried to bring in um, Apocalypse or some. Or he did something evil. Um, Black, um, Black Panther had Black Bolt scream at the person. And then I um, was just reading another um, episode. Oh, I was reading one where um, he used his powers on Namor because Black because Black Panther had asked him to do it. Well, who, who, who does Black Panther think he is? T'Challa, um, inheritor of uh, eater of the sacred heart shaped herb, um, keeper of all the Black Panther's knowledge, which even goes back to Black Panther one million BC which was the first of real Avengers, which was what? Odin, Phoenix Force, Black Panther, um, Agamotto. Hercules. Um, no, it wasn't Hercules. It was that other cat who was just, who was kind of like a weird, uh, oh, oh, oh um, star, star. Um, He-Man. It was not He-Man. He-Man is definitely one of the first Avengers. He Man was never in, literally in the first Avengers. Why would you even say that? I I I I I'm 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 confident He Man was an Avenger. Dude, He Man doesn't even exist in the same 
time or space frame as the Avenger. Are you on drugs? Not at the moment, but I do think He Man was an Avenger. No. <laughs> what do you mean, no? Mm, how? <laughs> Based off what? You just. Oh, wait, sorry. You, <laughs> as, as a millennial, you feel that just because you think something is this, that it is that. <laughs> No, even, even even in face of like actual factual evidence, it's like no, nah, no, nah, I feel this dude. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah, like I I feel it to be true in my soul. So. Oh yes, yeah. and, and that's all you need, dude. If you have faith in your heart of hearts that something is true, even when empirical evidence says that it is not, that's fine. And I didn't mean he man. I meant Conan. Right. See, this dude. Um. Yeah, I think you meant. Um, I meant Conan Shira. the Barbarian. Hmm. He was an Avenger. No, never. Yes, he was. No, <laughs> never. <laughs> Let me help you one more time. No, he was never. And a what if he did uh, battle um, Wolverine? But he is never been an avenger he has been an avenger he's part of the savage avengers thank you very much that's that man come on that's 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 that silly nonsense Uh, hey look you can't get mad because he was an avenger like i said he was oh but he but but to correct yourself until you had to look it up he was never part of the first avengers yeah he was you just don't want to accept it no (laughs) (laughs) man dude this guy that's why you're the comic connoisseur. I, I, will, I will bend facts to my will. So who were the first Avengers then? I just named them. There's a good episode. I forget the comic, but it was... Um, Name them again. Okay, sure. Um, Odin. Because they all spin on each other's. Odin, the first Black Panther. Um, Phoenix. who or, Odin and Phoenix had a, had a love thing. He fell in love with her. Um, that guy starred... It was. It's not Star Lord, but he basically is how like Star. Um, what was it? Star. I feel like it's Star Chamber or something. But he looked like the Hulk. Um, and then there's a um, oh oh Agamato, which is which was the sorcerer Agamato before he became the the Spirit Force deity, which is like Doctor Doc, um, Strange has. But those were it. The story, and, and I think they fought like a cent. Um, they you're, fought you're like missing, a you're, miss, you're missing a few of them. Well, which other ones am I missing? You got, you said Agamotto, you said Odin, you said Lady Phoenix, you said Black Panther. Um, Odin. You said that. I said that. Uh, okay. You didn't say Ghost Rider. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't say Iron Fist. Wait, Iron Fist was in there too? Yes. God, so he's like the first Iron Fist, obviously. And oh, she was a female, wasn't she? And you didn't say Starbrand. See, Starbrand was the was the one who's the Hulk kind of dude. Well, I have, but yeah, but you I know have what? nothing to do. With, and it, and the and it was Fan Fey. Um and um yeah, the first Iron Fist. Um yeah yeah yeah, I forgot because like she and like Black Pan. It was weird. So no, you're weird. No, trust me, you're weird. Right. No, actually, actually, I am weird, dude. I admit it. Okay, great. Um, here's another uh, casting I can't wait to get your reaction about. I told you I got a lot of news. Mm-hmm. Zach Efron. And before I before I give out the casting, who do you think Zach Efron was cast as in the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Is he the is he the is he the guy from Bad Na- uh, Bad Neighbor and? He used to be on a musical or some shit, high yep, school musical. Yep, yep. That dude, yeah. Who do you um, think he was cast as in the MCU? Or reportedly rumored to be cast as? Of course, Wolverine. No. <laughs> it's something, something, something chop pooey. Um, I'll give you a hint. He's one of the most powerful characters in comics. Reed Richards? No, I I have do have a news tidbit on him coming up soon. Though. Oh, who, who was he cast as? Just so I can have a good laugh. Adam, rumored, rumored. Oh, Adam Warlock. Adam Warlock. 
That was stupid. For the Guardians thing? For Guardians, for the Asgardians of the Galaxy. Yeah, whatever. What do you think about Zac he, Efron as Well, Adam he's terrible because he's like, dude, he's he was terrible. terrible in Baywatch. It's just like, it's just, he, like, uh, man, I don't know. It's, I like, like Zac, man. I think Zac's a good actor. He plays his role, man. He does what's asked of him. Oh, I don't know, man. I just, I don't, I'm, I'm not a fan, man. Not a fan at all. I mean, I, I like him over Shadow LaBeouf, but like this slightly, just like, you know, not a fan. That would be a big get for the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What? Zach Efron. Ugh, yeah, I'm over it, dude. Moving on. Okay. Um, I'm, mo- I'm moving on like bees. <laughs> you haven't heard V's voice in a while. He uh he left the show a little while. Ago. Yeah, V's uh V's uh, uh yeah. Had to he go. should be back next week though. Yeah, he should be back next week. Um, we're, we're 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 pretty confident. Yeah, pretty sure. Um, I got an upcoming uh rumored upcoming Disney MCU movie date schedule. Mm-hmm. May first, twenty twenty, Black Widow. November 6th, mm-hmm. 2020, Doctor Strange with Brother Voodoo rumored to be in it. Oh. February 12th, 2021, The Eternals. Ugh. Angelina Jolie has already been cast in that as well. Ugh, May great. 7th, 2021, Black Panther 2. November 5th, 2021, Shang-Chi. February oh, that's 18th, gonna be great. February 18th, 2022, Guardians 3, James Gunn. May 6, 2022, Captain Marvel 2, July 29th, mm-hmm. Avengers 5. Yo, man, why, why is everybody hating on Brie, dude? I, I'm the wrong person to ask about that. No, you definitely are, too, because you're another one of the haters, man. I don't hate they, Brie Larson, though. I don't like like Captain, I don't like Captain no Marvel. Side, it's, not, it's not a Brie Larson thing for me. It's Captain Marvel. I'm, I'm not a Captain Marvel fan. Okay, okay. I don't have a problem with Brie Larson. I liked her in 21 Jump Street. I can't even remember in 21 Jump Street. It's the only movie I think I, I've ever seen her in before Captain Marvel. That's the only movie you've ever seen? Wow. <laughs> Man, you got a lot of catching up to do, bro. All right. Now, here's the other rumored um, uh, leaked movie list coming out. So... You know, we got we got Toy Story four on six twenty one nineteen. Here are the twenty twenty movies. Um twenty or three twenty seven twenty Mulan. Four three twenty New Mutants. Five one twenty oh, Untitled a New Mutants movie? Yeah, that's the one that's supposed to come out like a year ago and it's been pushed back like three years. Wow, okay. Um five one twenty untitled Marvel movie. Uh let's see what else we got. Eleven six twenty untitled Marvel movie. Two twelve twenty one Marvel, and then it's just all these are untitled Marvel movies, and then we get to Avatar, in uh, Avatar two twelve seventeen twenty one Avatar three twelve twenty two twenty three and Avatar four twelve nineteen twenty five. Now, Star Wars. 12 20 24 12 16 22 and well obviously we have this one 12 20 19 a lot of dates out there anyone who can throw those dates back at me on twitter i'll send you a nice little gift nefo marvel vs dc anyone who can just recite every single date i listed from 2019 to 2025 i'll send you something nice yeah, or you can just go on the web and cut and paste and send it to us and then have a regular Scott send you something. Uh, yeah, that's a good point. If I Chunk get like five City. if I get like five copy and paste, I'm only sending you a magnet. Great, or a pen. It's gonna be great. <laughs> and the Star Wars movies are rumored to be done by the Game of Thrones showrunners. Oh, great. Is that great? No. Okay, I'm, I'm just, I'm over Star Wars, so, you know. So you're not looking forward to Rise of the Sky? No, I'm, I'm not at all. Why not? 
just because they saturated my brain with too much Star Wars. Like, I, I'm just going to wait for it to go to DVD. Well, after oh, this upcoming Are, movie, the next one doesn't come out until 2022. That's fine. I can wait. I just, I just don't, you know, I just don't. Yeah, I'm just not a big fan. It's not exciting to me. So it's crazy that you don't like Star Wars, which includes more black people than Star in in one movie than Star Trek has in its entire run. That's that is ludicrous. What you just said. You 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 were just say, you know what you do. You just say <laughs> shit just to fucking try and start controversy. The the, the reason why I prefer <laughs> Star Wars. The reason why I prefer Star Trek over Star Wars is because of the diversity that they've always had over Star Wars. So, there've only been like five black characters in Star Trek too. That is garbage. Not even true. <laughs> that what is, a, that one, is, one, of, what, one of the one of the main one of the it's, uh, Star <laughs> Wars has had two black characters. That's not true. Two. That's not true. Name two more black characters besides Lando and um, your boy who got um, uh, chopped in the back with a sword, with a um, with a with a with a flashlight. Um, Boba Fett. Boba Fett's not black, so keep going. Keep we going, don't. Going. <laughs> what is he then? He Boba, white. Bo- you 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 know you know actually what he looks like. He looks like he's Polynesian. Okay, he's mixed. So, so I, I'm gonna so say he, I'm gonna say he's mixed. No, 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 you're not. You're not gonna say that. What you're gonna say? Oh, 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 is, oh, Samuel L. Jackson. Um, I apologize. Star Wars has had three <laughs> characters, but let me help you out. It took them over a decade to bring out the other two. Oh God. Okay. But how many how many black characters have been on Star Trek? Um, so not even mentioning. And, and yo, I'm a, I'm gonna throw something else out there to you. I'm even talking about the extras, even the suckers that have speaking lines for Star Wars. You can't even name five people. So let me help you out with Star Trek. The 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 original Swahili for princess or queen, I believe, princess, um, Lieutenant Uhuru. Okay. Um, starting with that, then they busted out Jordy LaForge, who had who was high ranking, by the way, and he was lasting throughout the whole series. Then they said, "Yo, let's just go ahead and give um, Spencer for Hire's homeboy Hawk a TV show." So Benjamin Sisko had a long running Deep Space Nine TV show. Yeah, dude, they they do right, they do right, and. Busting Out Discovery, which is a great show. Season three coming up soon. Thank you for letting them have one more season. Um, yeah, dude. Don't forget on, about man. Reading Rainbow. Oh, I, I said Jordan LaForge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and then also, um, they're about to bust out Picard. I'm just waiting to see who they have in that. Hey, James, Yo, Earl, James Earl Jones voiced Darth Vader, though. Yeah, I did, dude, and 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 Darth Vader was black, was dressed in all black. So you want to say he's honorary black? <laughs> no, I don't. Okay, okay, let, let, let's let's keep it one hundred, dude. Let's keep this thing real. And then please don't say no no. Uh, What's it called? Tuscan Raiders. Don't they ain't black, dude? I was nah, gonna say Chewbacca, uh-uh. but nah, see, he, he's yeah, but but he has to die saving Han Solo's. Chewbacca choice. did not die. Uh, Chewbacca in the book and comic book is dead, saving Han Solo's twins in the future. Watch yourself, son. First of all, first of all, that comic is not canon right now. Uh, yes, it is, and it's in a book. It's the it's in the novel too. What what yeah, what no, what what novel is that in? Oh, okay. Let me bust it out for you. Let me uh, yeah, yeah. But, but, I, I don't yeah, keep up with it. Dude. Give me, give me, oh, whoa, give. Whoa. We'll, we'll give you ten minutes. It's gonna take you that long to look it up. Dude, dude, yo, man. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I just checked my text, dude, and then I, and I, and I had to go. What? <laughs> yo, check your phone real quick, dude. <laughs> hey, so, but a couple, a couple other things on the news tidbit. <laughs> yo. Wait, wait, I check your phone real quick. All right. Um, yeah, I checked my phone. 
Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll handle that later. Um, so. <laughs> Just want to make sure your alarm clock was set, son. I'm about to bring the justice to you. I only, I'll do a couple more news tidbits, and then I got a few one has to go that I do want to play. So, Dude, I, you needed to finish off this news tidbit thing because like, you got me mad and happy at the same time. All right, all right here we go. Um, Antoine Fuqua. Hey, um, Tears of the Sun. Um, I didn't know you liked to get wet. I don't know what. What? Um... I didn't know you liked to get wet. That was Antoine Fuqua's first um, directorial debut. That guy at least got him widely acclaimed. Remember that from Ethan Hawke, D- Denzel Washington? That's Training Day. Training Day. Remember that? Remember what? He, he directed that. Yeah. But what is? What are you talking about? And t- and Tears of the Sun. Did you not see that amazing movie? Uh, people may hate it. I would love for Migs to actually. Uh, I did not see do- Tears of the Sun. Well, I'd love for Megs to do a review of that. I might hit him up on um, IG to ask him. That's that's where the like I think like Navy SEAL special forces are in a um, region of Africa. They're sent to um, liberate this village. Bruce Willis is in it, and he's the leader of the group. It's crazy. Nah, I've never seen that. Um, but speaking of Migs, Migs does have a review of John Three Wick of John Wick Three. Spoiler free out. Definitely go check that out on the Go to Defy, or Defy Life. Mm-hmm. Definitely go check that out. Movies with me. Hey, I'm telling you, dude, I'm gonna be checking out Wix on Sunday, man. It's not about Wix right now. It is about Wick, Mister Wick. I'm glad Money came on a couple weeks ago and uh, talked about Polar. We also had a couple other people talk about Polar, but I'll, I'll leave you alone about Polar. There's some great action scenes. Before, yeah, okay. Man. I keep hearing you say that, but nobody else seems to agree. Well, hey, man, I, I don't, I, obviously I don't live off of other people's opinions, man. <laughs> I, I, I'm entitled to my own opinion. You absolutely are. But back to yeah. what I was saying about Antoine Fuqua before you started uh, rattling off his movies and stuff. He, he wants Denzel Washington for a Scarface remake. Fuck no, dude. We we already had a Denzel Washington Scarface remake with American, American Gangster. Gangster. That's a wrap. Call it a day. Don't remake Scarface. You out, son. Do something else. He said he he's been trying to get him to do it since the Equalizer. Word. He did it with American Gangster once again. Word. All right, yo, so, man, people be tripping. So you're what not you're that? not a fan of this, man. I will pro I will find out the address to his office. And I will protest outside of his day. How you, man? And, and how you gonna disrespect Denzel and pigeonhole this dude in all these roles? Hey, Denzel, I want you to do a remake of um, Scarface, but I already have when I did the Equalizer, Man on Fire. And when I also did American Gangster. Oh, I know, son. Come on, man. Hey, I'm just I'm just the messenger. Dude, man, off with your head, dude. I'm just I'm just the messenger. Nothing more. Um You know what? Yo, but, but yo, hold on, wait. <laughs> but you know what I mean though, right? About what? Denzel, he's played the gangster and everything. And he's he's still, a great bad guy. He's a great anti-hero. He, he he is he is he is on thin thin ice on being that typecast dude. He he's destined to like um your your boy from Deadwood who's also an American God. He plays the same character every time. Even when he played Hellboy's father, it was the same dude. Yeah, he does play the same character all the time. Denzel watches the same time. He, same thing. Hey, Denzel. Give me this. Give me that smirk. Uh, you need it for the Equalizer, for Man on Fire, for Training Day, or for um, uh, <laughs> what was that? What, what was that movie with uh, where he was a ghost in it? Um, a ghost. Oh, dude, there was a movie with Bob Hoskins and Denzel Washington where it's like called Two Hearts or something, where Bob Hoskins is like this fat, bloated British white what? dude who gets a heart transplant, and it's Denzel Washington's heart. And but he can only send to see Denzel, Denzel Washington's ghost. He winds up making out with Denzel Washington's um, girl, dude. What? Yeah, she's like, I feel like I've known you, and it's like he's like, Yo, man, you're having sex with my girl. 
it was the it was the most craziest eighty mood. And let me guess, ever. Denzel was cheering him on, smiling at him like, "Yeah, that a boy." Well, first he was just like, "Yo, yo, dude, how you doing that to my girl?" Okay, so okay, yeah, man, yo, God, this, this cat, dude, Denzel. I know you love your millions, but you don't need to do that, son. All right, so no Scarface for Denzel is what I'm here. Please don't do that. All right. So okay, uh, let's have a little fun with Denzel real quick before I finish out the news. I only and, got and, one more thing. And just one thing. Okay. And, and, and all the movie execs. Don't hate on me and put Denzel Washington in a remake of Predator. Don't do it either. Okay? He's not Danny Glover either. Don't do it. Well, that kind of goes to my next question. So what can oh, Denzel do? <laughs> what, what is he allowed to do? He can't do Predator. Can't do Scarface. Dude, he needs to go and... Cast like, him in a Marvel or DC movie then. Hey, Booker Eli, he was great, dude. I would love... To see what they should have did, he should be a live action Black Lightning. Well, he should he should have been Nick Fury. I like I like I I like Sam. I I think I like Sam too. I like Sam in that role. I don't I don't I don't. Denzel needs something he can really sink his teeth into. He could be a Blue Marvel. He could be a Blue Marvel. I think he could be a good Mister Terrific if you go in an older version. Oh. Dude, yo, regular Scott, that was awesome. I think he would make a really super great Mr. Terrific. Every now and then I come up with a gym. Yeah, every now and then. Every dude. every every now and then I come up with a gym just to throw out there. You know what I'm saying? Dude, fool's gold. Um, no, I, I like that a lot. That's that's a good that's a good one actually. That's real good. That's what I do. Um, you know, we talked about Reed Richards earlier in the podcast. Um, Absolutely. John smartest Krasinski, person, smartest person in the Marvel universe, by the way. John Krasinski, um, from The Office, Jim Halpert, Tom Clancy's uh, Jack Ryan, uh, Quiet Place. You know that guy. Mm-hmm. Marvel Comics have pretty much drawn Reed Richards, just like him. Do you think that is intentional and foreshadowing? Of the future. when when have they started doing that? Uh, and, and like the latest comics, he's Reed Richards. He's got he looks a lot like John Krasinski. I got to check that out because I don't know if I would agree with that or not. But in, in, well, you know, you know what? Um, they may be trying to train our brain for that shit. That's what I was. That's what I was going to ask. Do you think that um, there is you know a specific reason for that? Do you think that's happening because? A lot of people want um, John Krasinski and Emily Blunt to be Mr. Fantastic and Invisible Woman. I know. Just to be cute and stupid. So I think Emily Blunt would be a great Sue Storm. I'm only... The only way I'm in this... Any of this bullshit for Fantastic Four is if the thing is actually like almost seven foot tall. Well, that's, that's, that's not a problem. That ain't no problem. That well, no problem. yeah, um, that ain't no problem. Yeah, well, it's interesting doing that, and I don't care. They can be all white. I have, I have no issues with that. They need to be all white. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't need a, I don't need a black, um, uh, Johnny Storm pigeonholed in there, like just to have a black character in there. Oh, I agree. Like yeah. Michael B. Jordan should have never. I, that's just my. That's just a personal thing with me. Leave the iconic characters be. There's so many other characters you can bring to the forefront. You know, but that's absolutely. That's, that's a whole another, whole another. Thing. No, I agree. I fully agree with that. Last last bit of news. Spider-Man: Far From Home. Have you checked out the latest trailer? No. So you do not see the clip about how there is a multiverse now. What? Mysterio is from like Earth five three six or something like that. What? Apparently, the oh, snap God. has created, uh, I guess, a way for people to go through the multiverse. And he go, whoa! Well, that's an opening for them. It is a big opening. What do you think the multiverse sets up? What I mean, what? What do, what do you what do you, what do you what are your thoughts on the multiverse? Oh, everything. Spider Man Far From Home and the this is the end of phase of the la, of this phase right here. This ends this phase. This 
Infinity Saga. No, it's good. Um, it's fine because it's like it's what they should do. It's really cool. It opens up Miles Morales for live action. Um, it, it 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 can it, it can bring us a female Thor. They replace Fat Thor. Um, you know, it, it's it's really good, and it can also give us like a, a, it can say here's the Fantastic Four. You know, I do, know. and a gate and a gateway to introduce the X Men and Fantastic Four. Who do you think we get first, the X Men or the Fantastic Four? We get the Fantastic Four first. Wow, that's a very bold and fast statement. Uh, they just got, they just ran through X Men, so they 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 haven't did anything with Fantastic Four in a while. So, do you um, think when they do Fantastic Four, are we going to get Doctor Doom as the big MCU villain, or is he going to be a specific Fantastic Four villain? Man, it would be nice to like hold off on him being a villain so far. Well, I, I, I agree with you if they're going to make him the overarching villain. Yeah. Um, if not, then I want him in the movie. Like, I want, I want him to be the. You don't have to beat him. You know what I mean? Well, like, I would love, I would love for them to start introducing the Watchers. That would be cool too. Yeah. That would be that would be cool too. I'm with that. I'm with that. You know. I I I I, I do know. You know, I I have a I have a really strong idea. Then I do know. Um, I have one more um, potential movie list of uh, for the Phase Four that I'd like to read to you. Mm. It goes in this order. Some of these will sound familiar, like I read already. Black Widow, Eternals. Here's where it gets different. Inhumans. Yeah. Doctor Strange, Baron Mordo, mm-hmm. Shang Chi. That's gonna be good. I, I'm looking forward to that as well. Black Panther. To, for Shang Chi. I want the guy from the raid to be him. By the way. Oh, he's awesome. Yeah, he's really good. Uh, Black Panther two, Guardians of the Galaxy three, Ant Man three. Yeah. Captain Marvel two. You already mentioned that. Okay. And the Silver Surfer. Whatever. Nova. Yeah. Power Pack. Yeah. Fantastic Four. Yep. Spider-Man Secret Wars. Oh, wow. That's also part of the multiverse, too. And the Dark Avengers. What are your thoughts on that list? That sounds good. I can't wait. That's it. I I, I I literally have no thoughts on it because I'm excited for some of them, but I just want to see what they're going to do. Okay. Because it could be potentially awesome or just another fuck up. Let's hope that's not the case. Yeah. I mean, let's hope that's not the case, but it I will be. I remain pleasantly optimistic. Don't worry, dude. It's almost over. It's almost over. I only got to only got the uh, one's got to go, and then we'll get to our final. Oh, point. it's fine, man. I'm about to take a shower, dude. Um, just keep talking. <laughs> All right, time to play our favorite game, new game. One's got to go, but I have a twist on mine. So, would you like oh, to go God. first with yours, or would you like for me to go with mine? You can go first. I have a twist on mine. Okay. So I want you to choose one of these uh, places and armies to defend you, but the other three are all going to attack you. Okay. Your choices are Wakanda, Atlantis, Themyscira, or all the resources of S.H.I.E.L.D., Choose one to defend you. The other three all attack you. Hmm. Your silence speaks volumes. I would. I would do. Yeah. Oh. I. I you know what? Here. <laughs> I, I. I always. Um. Wakanda forever, but I would do I would do the mascara. Wow, that's a that's a that's a curveball right there. Why? Oh, but but, but it, it it it's legit because um, we we know that Wakanda is the most advanced nation on the face of the planet currently, um, run by Black Panther, of course, um, and we know that uh, Atlantis has um, Prince Namor 
uh, one of the strongest mutants, first the first mutant, um, and part of the um, Illuminati, not loved by everybody. We also know uh, that S.H.I.E.L.D. has vast resources, but Themyscira is a warrior island, a warrior nation. All of them are warriors, and all of them are have su- and all of them are super powered Amazon. And you get um, the Queen, um, you get Wonder Woman, you get Wonder Girl, you get these people who have incredibly strong because. They'll take out Prince Namor because if you don't believe it, just go back and watch um, uh, Justice League where um, it's an alt universe where um, Wonder Woman kills and takes out Aquaman and his girl. You mean Flashpoint? Flashpoint, yeah. That's where I go. That's where that's So where you I go, go to Themyscira? I go to Themyscira because if push comes to shove... Um, yeah, yeah, I, 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 I do, I do the mascara for sure. Okay, all right, all right, cool. I'm with it. I'm with it. Which one do you do? Ah, oh, man. Um, I, you know, I was, I was thinking about throwing a curveball and leaning towards Shield. Mm-mm. Only because you get all the resources of Shield, so that means anyone who works for Shield works for you. So well. Yeah. So, you know, I it means I get Iron Man, all his technology. I get Captain. No, you, no, 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 why, why, no. I mean, no. why not? They all Iron work Man for is Shield. Not a resource of Shield, um, if anything, and neither is War Machine. War Machine. I don't want War you, Machine. That's fine. Iron Man has nothing to do with Shield. They're not, not the Avengers Shield. The only thing you get is Nick Fury and maybe some agents of Shield. So like, I don't, I, like, I don't, um, I don't get any of the helicarriers. I don't get any you, you, of you the get agents. all that. You get, you get, you get all. So that. I don't get Steve but, Rogers, dude. No, Why he, not? He, he's not. He's not a. Re, he helps Shield out sometimes, dude. So look, dude, think about okay, your. Okay, what scene. about U.S. If, agent? Dude, here, no, that's a, he's U.S. agent. What you just said is basically me saying, well, uh, I picked them for scares, so obviously I get the Justice League, right? But you said you said that you took um, Wakanda and you got Namor. No, no. I, Atlantis, you have Namor. You, you were talking, you said Wakanda. No, I said Wakanda, you have Black Panther. You said, then you said, you said, you said Atlantis, right? Did I say Atlantis? What's what's name the uh, name the pe- name the three nations you said beside the mascara? I said Shield, Wakanda, and Atlantis. Yes, so Atlantis, you get Prince Namor, or are you talking about Aquaman, Atlantis? Oh, Aquaman, Atlantis. Oh, that's even better. Wonder Woman has killed that dude several times. Perfect, but not in, not in Atlantis. Um. Don't need them. Anytime they try and come above land, they're toasted. But you're not. But that's you're missing the point of the question. You are defended at this country or wherever you are. So if you are at Atlantis, they have to come underwater to you. Which which is like which means nothing. All they got to do is just like bomb the ocean, poison the ocean. <laughs> oh, because it's cause, so you you do remember what happened in injustice. How Aquaman was able was was convinced to get turned over to Superman's side, right? You do remember that, do you not? Yes, but nobody, there is no Superman that's going to lift up Atlantis. But if you have all the resources of Shield and you need all these people, why can't I have the Justice League and have Superman with me? You now you can if I can have all that for Shield. Okay, sure. So I, that means I'm taking Scarlet Witch too, and I'm and I'm just talking all of you out of existence. Okay. So that means I get the Avengers, right? Cool. And before Scar- Scarlet Witch can talk, I get um, Zatanna to say that <laughs> to say backwards. <laughs> no more mutants. Okay. So you 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 do that before she happens to just speak you out of existence. Before before she can say anything, Zatanna goes, "Oh, I can." It's just, Zatanna goes, "Hey, Doctor Fate, let's me you have a little fun with this girl right here." She thinks she this mutant thinks she knows the mystical arts. So that means so so pretty much what you're saying is that my Doctor Strange can't do anything about that, dude. Doctor Strange because he's an Avenger. I, um, great. Doctor Fate is a Justice Leader. He goes up against him. Okay, so they're 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 matched up. 
And remember, Zatanna said backwards, um, which means no more, no more mutants. Actually, she said no more DC. She said no more um, Marvel Universe. <laughs> All right, so that obviously you don't want to play fair on this one. Oh, dude, I'm just, I'm, hey, man, hey, 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 and, um, oh, 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 hold on, hold on. You know, and also, um, <coughs> pardon me, Wonder Woman uses her, her lasso of truth to make Scarlet Witch not be able to say anything. They don't even know who Scarlet Witch is, so they dude, wouldn't, they wouldn't, they wouldn't be doing all this dude, Scarlet Dr. Witch. Dr. Fate and Zatanna. And um, Zatanna's father would be like, uh, yeah, so we can sense that one, that crazy girl's power. I'll just get Tony Stark to create an Infinity Gauntlet. Oh, hey, hey. But, um, whoa, I'll take that um, death um, and just snap the, you all the way. Hey, and, then, Zatanna, and then let's not forget I have Captain Marvel. Like, you hey, have nothing hey, for that. Hey, Zatanna. Yes, Wonder Woman. Um, hey, I, I, I hear Scarlet Witch is going to um, say these words and it make us not exist. Well, we have to worry about her brother. Oh, no problem. The Flash, who runs the speed of light, just took out everybody. Except Peace. Quicksilver, because I, you know, they can, Peace, they'll, they'll just run with each other. No, they won't, dude. The Flash yeah, no, is they, much they, faster they than will. Quicksilver. They will. They will. Now, do you, you see, once again, you were trying to interject fiction, which is like, oh, yes. <laughs> you, you were trying to interject fiction into science fiction. There's it's no fine. fiction. There's no fiction in that. I'm just saying, you can't, you, how are you going to say that you're going to do all this when you don't even know who you're fighting against? Dude, I, dude, the, you the don't even flash, know who's on the, on the playground right now. The flash has seen who's on the playground and Superman can hear and see everything. Dude, you're not. Yeah, man. Come on, man. You are outclassed, dude. No, no, no. So you're what you're saying is that DC outclasses Marvel. I, I'm saying in this battle because I still have Blue Marvel as well. Yes, that's great. And so who I have? I have Professor Power X. Girl. I have I have Dark I have Phoenix. Power. You don't have Professor X. Do you? Wait, what are you talking about? I have the Fantastic Four. No, you do not. That they are definitely a part of Shield. They are not. The Fantastic Four has zilch to do with so Shield. They've never been a part of Shield, dude. Unless Nick Fury has tried to manip- manipulate them, Reed Richards like, now we having that. Get that out of here, dude. Get it out of here. Okay, well, what, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> there is no such thing as, um, as, in your world, there's no such thing as kryptonite. So I have a overpowered Superman, Power Girl, Supergirl. We don't have a yellow sun in our world anymore either. We knew Superman yeah, was coming, nah, so nah, we, we, dest- we destroyed our yellow sun. Right, got you. So you destroyed your only source of energy, so you have a dead planet. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I'm, I'm, I'm in Atlantis. We live underwater. We don't need the sun no more. Um, you, you do understand how all that works, right? <laughs> I understand. Do you know what the consequences of what that would do? Yeah, I do, dude. You, 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 the, if we, when the sun goes out, you, you Atlanteans are frozen. <laughs> See, you don't know about the technology that we have down there. Yes, then you guys are able to survive, and when a planet is frozen over, we survive underneath the frozen planet. There is no source of heat <laughs> without the sun. <laughs> We've created our own sun. That's what you. Yeah, dude. I, 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 yeah, right. I got you, man. I got you. Um. You get your ass whipped, dude. <laughs> oh my goodness. Man, Wonder Woman would just go eight shit. First of all, the mascara is not even that protected. Like regular regular soldiers went in there and were able to kill one of those warriors. Right. Warriors. And that's the most stupidest storyline. If a regular thing, soldier so, can do so, that, just so imagine what, what all of them would have. Canon happen. for that place for Paradise Island is that it's invisible to any electronic or radar or the human eye, and it has a force field. Get out of here, dude. So I'm Get just, I'm just say, hey, look, I'm just saying, if that can happen, just imagine what I can do with the most advanced technology on the face of the planet with Wakanda. Dude, you... Your, your words. If they have the most advanced mm-hmm. technology, I would be able to find the mascara. Oh, you, you, you are correct. Until, until you go and to go... Uh, um, Diana, yes, Clark, 
why, why do you feel so, you look so distressed? Well, we, Themyscira, my, my beloved island, is under attack by three massively superior forces. Have you ever heard of Wakanda? Oh, yes. They're the most advanced nation on the planet, but I'm from Krypton, which is the most advanced planet in the galaxy. Oh, you know, by the way, let's go get some um, extra advanced weaponry from Hawkeye and Hawkgirl. Okay, cool. Hold on. What are you going to do all this when they're attacking? Dude, they, they're not just... Uh, there is a treaty based on everything. And if they... Attack, oh, 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 and also, the, tre- there's a, the treaty that happens, if they're attacked, you know every other Justice Leaguer is like, let's go to work. But let's how, go to how work. Can you, how can you have every Justice Leaguer, but the S.H.I.E.L.D. and Wakanda can't have every single member? No, no, you said, you said if you wanted to have... Shield and all these. I'm like, cool, bring it, baby. But that means I get every member that's ever been a part of Shield. Okay, sure. And then you forget about one little thing. Um, hey, dude, what what, what happened to the helicarriers? Oh, dude, don't worry about it. The, the Green Lantern Corps. Oh, I don't. I don't space. need those no more. If I have every, if I have every member that's ever been a part of Shield, I don't need the helicarriers no more. Oh, that's that's great, dude. I have the Green Lantern Corps. With the Justice League, dude. I got Century. Dude. <laughs> dude. You have a rip off Superman, man. Uh, Who's a psychopath and crazy. I got Century and Void. Dude. <laughs> I, I have the Kryptonians. I have the um, the Thanagarians. Oh man, I have the Green Lantern core. I have a Green Lantern planet, son. So this is pretty much turned into Marvel vs. DC. It, it it pretty much is. So a you blowout. so what you're saying is that at the end of the day, DC would beat Marvel. Dude, I, that, that's that's what you're that, that that's what you're boiling it all down to at the end of the day. If we just go pound for pound power, dude. DC does beat Marvel, man. You got to think about the golden, the, uh, that sil- the Silver Age Superman when he was moving galaxies because they were so stupidly overpowering that dude. I don't know. Ah, uh, uh, tough one. Who in the Marvel universe, like besides like these like Galactus people? So when Galactus. Or when um, Frankie Richards like creates a galaxy or whatever, the Green Lantern people do that shit all the time. So you're doing multiple people, dude. I'm just saying, man. DC is superly, stupidly overpowered. So DC over Marvel is what you're saying, dude. I'm not that. That's not my words. But when it comes to a power struggle, no, I'm, I'm sure. asking. I'm asking. No, uh, nah. Storyline, comic content, Marvel wins. When it comes to the stupid raw power, DC has stupid raw power. You. And you keep you keep doing this bull with. I got Professor X. Cool, great. I got freaking Gorilla Zod, dude. What is Gorilla Zod gonna do to Professor X or or or, or Phoenix? They're both. T- Wait, how, how do you have? How do you even have Phoenix? <laughs> Nick Where Fury, did that Nick, come from? Nick Fury's been working, man. Dude, oh, God. okay. Well, um, then, then I have all the Greek gods. <laughs> Great, dude. <laughs> come on, man. Well, I got the Watcher. Yeah, and he just watches. He's watching Marvel get their ass kicked. Great. <laughs> and I have Stan Lee, so that's Trump card. <clears throat> awesome. Great. I have Bob Kane. I'll take Stan Lee. I, okay, I, I have Jerry um, Siegel. I'll take Stan Superman. Lee. Dude, okay. Well, Stan Lee is awesome, but I'm just saying, dude. <laughs> All right, last one. Freaking but, break. Last one, then we'll do our final blow. Okay. I'll keep this one Marvel since, you know. I thought I was supposed to give you one. Oh, yeah, go ahead. Do yours. One of these must go, and they're gone forever. Marvel, DC, Star Trek, Star Wars. That's easy for me. Star Trek. 
I see. I, I you can say that, but then you would have like literally a lot of the technology that we have will never exist because they weren't inspired by Star Trek. What? Ain't nobody, ain't, ain't nobody here making lightsabers, dude. But I'm talking like the, like like three. You know, you know, basically, 3D imaging is based off of the, the transport. Um, is based off of the replicators of um, Star Trek. I, it, that that the tasers, the tasers are based off of phasers. That series has the least amount of impact on me, except for reading Rainbow Guy. Um, yeah, for me. Easily, I would say Star, Star Wars. Wars. You yeah. mean that was too easy, man? Okay, All for, right, both, for you, both of us. Me, for both of us. Give me one. Give me one more of yours. Okay. One of these can never be in another live action movie again. Hmm. This is a two parter because then I got one of these will be the next live action solo movie. So here's my first one. One of these four will never be in another live action movie. Wolverine, Professor X, Storm, Jean Grey. One's got to go, X-Men edition. Jean Grey. Ooh. Storm has never been properly explored. I'm su- I'm surprised you picked her over Wolverine. Yeah, uh, Wolverine. Wolverine. There's still some. There, there's still some cool stuff that could be happening with Wolverine. I still want to see a real official old man Logan. Yeah, I would like yeah. to see that too. Even though I thought Logan was good, Logan was great. But I want to see a real old man Logan. There's so much potential with that. You can even do an anime one and still like knock it out of the box. Yeah, that's true. The it's one it, people people would go ape shit for just the one scene where he kills all the X Men. There would be a lot of build up to that scene. Yeah. So. All right. Now the other side. One of these four has to get the next solo movie. Iceman, Nightcrawler, Kitty Pride, or watch this. You ready? Mm-hmm. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. You sure, dude? What, 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 what are you going to say? What, what, what are you going to say? Um, bird, bird boy, or something crazy? Like, um, you going to say juggernaut? Uh, what? Who? What? Uh, no, I, I, not juggernaut. Juggernaut's already been in a movie. He's been in two movies. Keep going. Morph. Fuck Morph, dude. That guy's ridiculous. A made-up cartoon, a made-up um, TV character. Um, no, no, no. I was just playing about Morph. Beast. Beast was my choice. Um, solo Beast solo has, movie. Beast has potential, dude, but I would say... You said one of these has to go? Yeah, no. One of these, one of these to has to be the next solo movie. One of those four has to be the next solo movie. Well, oh, I, I would say Iceman would be kind of cool. Okay. Is he gay in this movie? I know. That's the problem. They would probably just make him gay just to like, I'm like, oh. Well, he is gay. Well, but th- that's just a new phenomenon, though, dude. He's always been a little questionable. No, he hasn't. That's just a new phenomenon. He's just been asexual. They have never known what to do with him. Ah, that's a good way of putting it. I yeah, like to... they, they just never know what to do. They don't know how to give him a relationship. They don't know how to explore his real powers. You know, they don't know what to do with that dude. I'd like a Kitty Pride heist film. Uh, I want. I would like to see a Kitty Pride when she when she's in Japan. That'd be cool. That'd be cool. I'd be with that. I'd be with that. Or or a, like a like a Nightcrawler assassination type movie. Like he's an assassin. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I know. They, was, they, they alluded to that, but you know, he wouldn't because he's such a super. He's his faith means a lot to him. You can play on that. Mm-hmm. You can play on that. All right, um, that's what I got. Uh, what you got for me? Nothing. Final else? blows, huh? Yeah, final blow. What you got? What you got oh, for the uh, for the final blow? Um, final blow. Let me see here. 
I'm going to watch John Wick. Uh, I'm going to mix one of the movies out for me to watch is uh, John Wick. I'm kind of excited to see Brightburn. Um, that's all I got, dude. I, I did. Um, by the way, um, I Swamp Thing, Swamp Thing comes out pretty soon. Keep you guys if you ha- haven't done it. Um, DC Universe hit us back up because we know we we're endorsing you guys. You guys should really all be checking out DC Universe. Um, my final blow is uh, shout out to uh, Jay or Jr. and West Coast Jay. Mm-hmm. For uh, jumping on last week, last minute. Um, V's and Oz had a couple things to do, so I had you guys jump on last minute. I really appreciate that it. That was again. awesome, by the way. Um, yeah, definitely. Oh, uh, Jay has a, JR has a new nickname when he's on the show. What is it? He's the Kingpin. Okay, I like that. So He has a way of making people disappear, we found out as well. Uh, apparently, uh, Wilson Fisk. Okay. So, uh, don't get on his bad side. Well, apparently, right? Somebody was on a show once, and the next thing you know, they were gone. Um, I'll make a. I'll. I'll, I'll strive to. Um, yeah, I'll strive to um, not make them pissed off. I'll strive to be a more diligent. I'll buy some t-shirts. Why don't you buy our t-shirts? I have. Um, Check out for our shirts on the Five Live Shop dot com. Yeah. The five life gear. It, 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 five life it, it, gear. It, it, Sorry, not yeah, sure. the five life gear. The five life gear. Um, what you got for your final blow? Oh yeah, that, uh, that and um, you know, check out uh, check out the Umbrella Academy. I'm still on that. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's real good. I'm still on that. Um, mm-hmm. Although Ellen Page, good God, dude. Yeah, it's just Ellen Page doing Ellen Page things. Yeah, I, I would hate to see her and Denzel Washington in a movie together. They're just gonna play themselves. <laughs> Ellen, Page, Ellen Page and Denzel Washington are in a buddy buddy cop movie but the kicker is they play each other's character that they normally play so Ellen Page is the gangster and Denzel Washington is the emotionless person right yeah great sounds like I a, smell a hit smell, sounds, I was about to say smells like a winner sounds like a winner yeah. smells like a wiener um yeah, it's time to go. All right, um, Oz, tell me when we talk to him next time. Hey, everybody, um, we got some exciting things coming up. By the way, I'm very excited about what's. Happening oh, we we do future. have we got some we got some pretty uh, we got some pretty cool interviews and uh, we got a couple things lined up. Jr., shout out to you again. Appreciate it. Yeah, that, um, that that's very cool. What's happening? Um, and as usual, folks. Peace and chicken grease. And don't forget, like, subscribe, iTunes, Spreaker, anywhere you download your podcast. We really appreciate it. And as always, y'all have a good time because we're going to have a good time until we talk to y'all next time. Peace. Yo, what up, my people? This is J.R. Glant from Defy Life. If you're looking for an in-depth, honest, at times hilarious conversation on anything from current events to sports, to entertainment, and more. Check out myself, Alvin, Thomas, Gerald, and Yosh on the Defy Life podcast. Dropping every Wednesday, available at GoDefyLife.com and everywhere your favorite podcasts are available. And as always, if you're not rocking with Defy Life, what's your life about? Got to pay the price to make winning look easy. Welcome to the fire life.